the beginning of a novel is a belief that the world really needs this book. And I had that sort of belief that, and it's outrageous that some yobbo from Homebush, some failed priest from Homebush, is going to write a book that the world actually needs to read or part of the world needs to read. It is um, a, a, a satanic assumption in, in all that. <laughs> I was born prematurely. My father, although that times were tough, insisted on a private hospital because there was talk of mix-up of babies in the public hospital system. And uh, God knows he may have been better off with some other kid, but my mother and father were uh, kids from Kempsey. And my memories are of uh, Kempsey and Taree and Warhope, those three towns in northern New South Wales. And uh, having a bit of a ride in my grandfather's locomotive was uh, really something out over the Hastings River. And in that household that you and your young brother grew up in, were there books? Oh yes, now my mother and father had left school after the primary final, like most of Australia did, after sixth grade. But my mother felt very acutely having been deprived of further education. So there were always books. And she said, read to your children. A child with a book is never bored. These days, you're really enjoying your grandchildren. Can you imagine reaching a stage where you don't want to write anymore? I could not live without writing. I'm so pleased. I see neighbours who have been, had important jobs and suddenly they're out of the loop at 64 and they uh, have to find something to fill the void. And I, I'm lucky that I'll always be able to uh, fill the void very fortunate old sod to be able to think in, uh, of uh, possible novels. Um, maybe through a bit of exercise and good luck I can keep writing for um, some years yet but I won't specify the years because although uh, as agnostic as one might be they're listening you know. <laughs> 